the onsets 85 farmer fuck rebels have been killed in Colombia since the group signed a peace accord with the government two years ago. Most of the murders were by illegal armed groups and drug gangs fighting over farmer fuck territories. United Nations Chief Antonio Guterres said in a report, Mr. Guterres urged Colombian President Ivan Duke, a local critic of the peace deal, to do more to protect ex rebels. Colombia suffered 52 years of conflict until peace was reached in 2016. The FARC, a revolutionary armed forces of Colombia, is now a political party known as the Revolutionary Alternative Common, files with five seats in the Senate and five in the House of Representatives. In the last three months alone, 40 next members of FARC were murdered, Secretary General Guterres said in his quarterly report on the United Nations admission to Colombia. He also said he was hugely concerned that more than 500 social leaders and human rights activists have been killed in Colombia since 2016. Most of the murders were in zones abandoned by farmer, fork, fighters, and where there is limited state presence. The United Nations report said, since the peace accord, Colombia's weak state apparatus has been unable to take control of these isolated regions. Instead, illegal armed groups have taken over and the security forces and president are increasingly coming under fire for not stemming the violence. The FARC was formed in 1964 with the stated intention of overthrowing the government and installing a Marxist regime. Their main founders were small farmers and land workers who had banded together to fight against the staggering levels of inequality in Colombia at the time. After modest beginnings, the left-wing group rose to prominence through the 1980s and 1990s as its association with the drugs trade improved its financial standing at its peak. It was the largest and best equipped galif earth in Latin America. Over half a century of conflict between FARC and the authorities, 8 million people have a debt, disappeared or been displaced. The 2016 peace deal, reached after years of negotiations, resulted in some 7,000x fighters laying down their weapons. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Huawei's chief finance officer, Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.40 won ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Meng, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world, who support Huawei's success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported, but it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way full owners are being offered other enticements to be can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. See in Beijing, bring a who are way full and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday, HTTPS. T. CoQXL19YPQLPIC Twitter Com Soccer Lof End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a lab misman, 46.
Use the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on Iran between 2000 and May and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Mann, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high-flying errors The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second-largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Ms. Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest. Two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests. I'll help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made which is a very important thing, what's good for national security, I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary, he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition. Process I use it for ends other than the pursuit of justice, Foreign Minister Christy of Freeland said. A poacher has been ordered to watch the Disney film Bambi, repeatedly, after he was convicted of illegally killing hundreds of the Missouri hunter David Barry. Chia must view the film at least once a month during his year-long sentence. He was arrested in August along with two family members for killing the deer, taking their heads and leaving their bodies to rot. Prosecutors said it is reportedly one of the biggest poaching cases in Missouri history. On top of the jail sentence of the illegal deer hunting, Judge Robert George ordered Barry Jenner to view the Walt Disney movie Bambi, with the first viewing being on or before December 23rd, 2018, and at least one such viewing each month thereafter. During his spell in prison, the 1942 cartoon about woodland creatures shows a hand to kill the mother of eponymous deer character Bambi. A month-long investigation spanning several states led to the arrest of Barry Jr., his father David Barry, Sr., and his brother Kyle Barry, according to a local newspaper, the Springfield News Leader. While the total number of deer taken illegally is unknown, Lawrence County's conservation agent Andy Bonds said it could be several hundred. Barry Jenner received a year-long sentence in Lawrence County Prison after pleading guilt to illegally taking wildlife. He has also been sentenced to a 1 to 0 day term in Barton County Prison for a firearms probation violation, and both he and his father had their hunting privileges revoked for life by the Missouri Conservation Commission. A poacher has been ordered to watch the Disney film Bambi repeatedly after he was convicted of illegally killing hundreds of the Missouri hunter David Barry. Must view the film at least once a month during his year long sentence. He was arrested in August along with two family members for killing the deer, taking their heads and leaving their bodies to rot. Prosecutors said it is reportedly one of the biggest poaching cases in Missouri history. On top of the jail sentence, 
are they illegal deer hunting? Just Robert George ordered Barry Jenner to view the Walt Disney Movie Bundy, with the first viewing being on or before December 23rd, 2018. And at least one such viewing each month thereafter, during his spell in prison. The 1942 cartoon about woodland creatures shows a hunt to kill the mother of eponymous deer character Bambi. The months-long investigation, spanning several states, led to the arrest of Barry Jr., his father David Barry Sr., and his brother Kyle Barry. According to a local newspaper, the Springfield News Leader, while the total number of deer taken illegally is unknown. Lawrence County's conservation agent Tandy Barnes said it could be several hundred. Barry Jenner received a year-long sentence in Lawrence County Prison after pleading guilty to illegally taking wildlife. He has also been sentenced to a one-to-zero-day term in Barton County Prison for a firearms probation violation. And both he and his father had their hunting privileges revoked for life by the Missouri Conservation Commission. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Huawei's chief finance officer.